Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen, where today we're making vegan peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Ah, that's a mouthful, but we don't have a ton of ingredients, which is great, and they're super delicious. So the first thing I want to do is take a tablespoon of chia seeds and mix it with two and a half tablespoons of water. And that is going to be our egg substitute. We're just gonna let that kind of sit and gel up a bit while we get the rest of our cookies together. So in my bowl here, I have some all-purpose flour. You can also use whole wheat pastry flour. We're gonna add in baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Just make sure that all gets in there. And then I'm gonna mix these together well to get everything incorporated throughout there. Then we're gonna add in our sugar. So this is maple sugar, which I love using because it adds a nice maple flavor to all of our baked goods or you know whatever recipes we're using it in. If you don't have maple sugar or you can't find it, you can order it online. Or you can simply use light brown sugar, also works great, or even a coconut sugar would be fine as well. Now, as I kind of get all of this mushed up and mixed together, of course they're peanut butter cookies, right? So we couldn't make peanut butter cookies without peanut butter, ta-da! Also, another thing in here that I'm gonna do fast, similar thing happens with brown sugar. Sometimes that maple sugar gets still a little lumpy. So I'm just gonna run my hands through here and break up some of those larger pieces of sugar so that we can really get it um, mixed throughout. Like so. Perfect. Okay, great. Then in goes the peanut butter. And I know I've talked about this before, but we really are cooking, right? So we wanna use our hands. So I am gonna stick my hands in here and get things mixed around moving together because it will be a pretty thick cookie dough. And then we do have our chia water. So we're gonna add that in. Get your hands right in there. Start to mix all of this together. gonna be a nice thick dough if you've ever made peanut butter or nut butter cookies before you'll be familiar that ah, looks beautiful and then we're just gonna add in our chocolate chips so I have mini chocolate chips here which I enjoy because they're smaller than your typical chocolate chip size and since we are making smallish cookies, they kind of work a little bit better. Okay, so we have our dough. And then let me just move this stuff out of the way. We're gonna grab our baking sheet and a tablespoon. So I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of dough. I'm gonna roll it into a ball. And it should make about 20 cookies. So I'm gonna just do a few of them here and show you the next step. So once you have rolled out about 20 cookies, you're gonna take a fork. And a typical peanut butter cookie has a cross hatch pattern on it. So you're just going to take that fork and gently press down 
and then go the other way so you have that cross hatch pattern. And you still want them to be thick, you put them maybe halfway down from that ball. So then I'm gonna line this sheet pan and possibly a second one. You don't really have to space them more than about an inch apart, so you might be able to get 20 on one sheet pan, but you can always put 10 and 10, and then we're gonna put them in the oven for about eight or nine minutes at 350 degrees. So I'm gonna finish putting these out on the sheet pan, put them in the oven, and then I'll meet you back here with our finished vegan peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Okay, so we have our gorgeous vegan peanut butter chocolate chip cookies here. They cooked for about nine minutes at 350 degrees. They get a little bit golden brown around the outside, but they're not going to look overcooked. And that's the thing with peanut butter cookies. They will be a little bit softer, but you wanna give them that because they'll firm up um, and they, you want that nice texture when they are cooled off. So here you go. Once again, I'm Abby. These are my vegan peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.